we came up with the T-Rex inflatable costume as a means to create a dinosaur that would morph the body. It wouldn't be a typical Halloween costume per se with a plastic mask and a, a, a natural human fitting sleeves and, and pant leg. And so what we want to do is create something bigger than life and something that would allow the person to become a dinosaur and putting a perspective on it so you have a fun motion to it. It's got body to it. It's got, it's got to be comfortable, safety, vision, the right textiles. All these things need to be considered when making a costume like this. My role here at Ruby's involving with the T-Rex costume from Jurassic World uh, has to do with arranging, first of all, for the license with Universal Studios, who put out the movie Jurassic World in 2015. We arranged about a year and a half in advance of that time to actually uh, get the license to put out consumer products. From that point on, we turned over the project to our creative department. Universal Studios provides them with the assets to develop the costume, the packaging, the marketing materials, which all gets approved by Universal Studios before a product ever gets to market. What we did uh, originally is we created inflatable costumes, and this is the original designs that we've had in our line for years. We've taken that same technology and we applied it to this. Instead of you wearing the costume and your head showing, we evolved the look of it, and that's where it encapsulated the wearer. And then from there, we create a pattern, we create a prototype. This is probably 50% of the patterns that are used. We apply art to that prototype into those patterns, and then from there we get our, our, our first sample made, and then that's where we head towards production. When we've seen it worn the first time, we noticed the motion that goes into this once somebody's wearing it, and their heads bobbing around, and their tails moving around, and they got these little arms, and they got these short legs and a drop crotch. And once we've seen that, we actually made the, the, the head even larger. It's a character of, uh, of a dinosaur as well as a character of a person. They absolutely loved it. It was the first time that an inflatable was done that completely concealed the identity of the wearer. This was not putting on a costume. This was transforming to the character. We didn't quite realize what we had. People immediately started to make their own videos. And they were making videos of T-Rex doing everything from shoveling snow to gardening to driving, everything you can think of. I thought it was gonna be like a one-time thing and it was somebody putting something on the internet for fun. And then it, it just started getting contagious. The demand was phenomenal for these costumes, selling out everywhere. Our biggest concern was how do we make more and how fast? I'd be at a restaurant and all of a sudden I'm sitting with my wife and all of a sudden T-Rex comes walking by and he's saying hi to you and he's, you know, or you see T-Rex at the beach. And it was just like, you know, sometimes it's like, wow, I wonder if that guy knows who made that. You never know where he's gonna pop up. The slogan was, life is more fun as a T-Rex. The success of the T-Rex character led us to want to expand the line. And the first thing we did was add a children's T-Rex costume. The next thing we did is we brought the child and adult T-Rex out to market with sound. So you hear the T-Rex roaring. After that, we actually wound up doing the Velociraptor, which is also known as Blue. And then we have two brand new ones coming out this year that are based on characters in the new movie that comes out on June 22nd. We have the Pteranodon and the Triceratops. We are very proud of the recognition that the T-Rex costume got particularly from the U.S. toy industry. We actually won the Innovative Toy of the Year Award at the Toadies, which is the first time, first of all, Ruby's in its 67-year history has ever won the award uh, from the toy industry. And it's also the first time that a costume ever won a Toy of the Year Award. So we're very proud of that.